Yes, greetings Jamaica and to the wider world. Today is Labor Day in Jamaica and I think I want to share a, a, a passage of scripture with you so that you will understand that the kingdom of God set up everywhere and by his uh, scriptures they are parables so St. Matthew 20 is dealing about laboring vineyard laboring Jamaica is the vineyard the people that are in it is the laborer every one of us are called to this vineyard so that we can do what pleasing to God wherever there be thrown or dominion or kingdom set up it is set up by God and the expectation of him and the requirement of him is a mystery yes the sooner you know is the better for you the later you know you will be maybe out of line so as St. Matthew 20 and the first verse is saying for the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder which went out early in the morning to hire laborers in his vineyard and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day he sent them into his vineyard and he went out about the third hour and saw there standing idling in the marketplace so you are not called in the vineyard to be a idler you call to work because whatsoever work you do in this vineyard you will get a pay wherever it is spiritual or natural you will get a pay yes because the kingdom is set up in parable and mystery so we cannot be a high in the vineyard we have to find ourselves working for by the sweat of our brow we eat bread yes so with this COVID-19 a lot of new things you will experience and you will wonder if things really will happen this way but it is happen for the rise and fall of many because if you're a idler at this time in Jamaica and through the world you cannot be successful you cannot build kingdom you cannot enjoy because you will leave behind because that's what the planet is set up on whatever their man doing it or Jesus Christ himself he set up it because he said an other foundation can no man lay than that which he has laid so you cannot be a high in the vineyard you have to be a productive laborer at this time. The fifth verse of St. Matthew 12 is saying, Again he went out again, the sixth and the ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idling, and said unto them, Why stand ye there all the day idling? So you have people want to pretend as they are working in the vineyard and they want to eat and inherit the best spot by idle haggling we cannot haggle to be successful we have to be have a ready mind and a willing mind to work because it is not that you are left by yourself you are left to be a good steward and to give account the account that you will be giving to your supervisor, to your boss, it's deeper than that because after a while you have the God, you have God to answer to. And you have your conscience because your conscience is what kills us most time. We cannot sleep when night comes because of our conscience because we, do, we, we want to receive and reap where we do not sow. The vineyard labor, God has speak about idleness, 
We cannot be a Heigl pastor, a Heigl evangelist, a Heigl sister, a Heigl brother, Heigl wife, Heigl husband, Heigl in any era that we are called in place in. We have to be willing and give good service to the best of our ability. The seventh verse said, They said unto him, Because no man had hired us, he said unto them, Go ye also unto the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall you receive. So when evil has come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, Call the laborer, and give them their hireling, beginning from the least unto the first. So the boss sent out the supervisor and said, Okay, you are the one that is in charge of the payroll. Pay them a penny a day. Regardless of who come late and who come early, if they work good, they need good pay. And, they, and, they, and, they, and it was for them to receive a penny a day. That was the budget of their expenditure. So when evening has come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto the steward, Call the laborers and give them their hireling being beginning from the last even to the first. And when they came that they heard about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. So, so there was a watch and peep in the garden to say that, okay, I am here first. I supposed to get more pay more than those that come in la last. So it was a murmurer, murmuring. It was a complaining. And if you have fuss and fighting in whatsoever you are doing, you will not able to do a good work because that will cause confusion. So they, don't, they didn't realize that they need to do a good work. We must work that God, man and heart, please of us, and God, our Heavenly Father, will also please of us. We cannot work because somebody taught us or told us to do something that is not good because it is, be, be, because it is going to be exposed. The level verse said, And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house. It was very good for the good man of the house to see that they were hygglers and invite them in the kingdom. But when they come into the kingdom, they didn't appreciate of what was agreed for in the kingdom. They were just murmurers and complainers. Yes. You know, so many times we do not know that our life is based upon the scriptures. And without the scriptures, we will not realize that all what we do and all what we say is in the word of God. Because we could not do it by ourselves. Self is a complete failure. We need to get some understanding where we get our action and then reaction from. The 12 verses saying it. These last had a wrath, but one hour, they have just worked one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the heat and the burden of the day. So those that were there, they said they were in the heat of the day. Those that comes in late, maybe get a little shady, but we were out there in the sun working and they are not supposed to do it. So, so, so they are not supposed to get the same pay as they get it. And that was totally confusion because the foundation was based upon anyone comes into the vineyard, they would get a penny a day. It was one flat rate. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. And, and these are stories from the scriptures that shows us that we must be honest in whatsoever we do. It's not the education or the brilliantness of us that causes us to have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from God. But by doing what pleasing to God, then he said, what you do in secret, I will revolve, I will re warded you openly 
So therefore, we cannot do it by the education. We cannot do it by the friend and friendship of anyone. We just have to do the right thing at the right time. Now, this was the confusion that was the, they were all about. But he answered one of them and said, the 13th verse, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Did I not do agree with me for a penny? So it should not be causing a fuss and fighting because from the beginning it was agreed that it would be a penny a day. And they all agree. But at the end of the day, when they see that the one that was first and the one that comes out last was now on the same flat rate, there was be a confusion. And the word of God said, where there be strife, there be confusion, where there be murmurers, the spirit of God cannot work there. And we cannot expect to bless when we do things like this. The scripture is saying at the 14th verse, take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own. This thine eyes is thine eyes evil because I am good. So the last shall be the first and the first shall be the last for many be called but few. Few are chosen. So there are many called to this vineyard and we feel that because we are first and we are in the sun and we bear the burden and the heat we said okay i am going to take my penny but you you're gonna get a, 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 a less than you're gonna get half of what i'm getting no it is not gonna work because the scripture is already had a foundation biblical foundation in which the heart is laid upon, the foundation is laid, the world is laid, the country is laid. And today, as Labor Day, let us face the channels of life. Because the scripture said, the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us look into our life today. Let us do the things that are pleasing to God. So at the end of our life span, we shall receive a reward, a good reward, with excellency, greatness, and our conscience will not be able to condemn us. Today, I love my country, Jamaica land. I was born as a humble child in this country, go through many struggling, many hardship, but I never put down myself. I try to do it the best and the honest way, working very hard, praise God, because that is what the foundation is laid upon. Working hard, enjoying your labor, praise God. Today, Labor Day in Jamaica, let us break up our folly grounds and try for excellency. Let us try for excellence, Jamaica. Let us stand up and rebuild Jamaica land spiritual you already born natural so you don't need any more makeup of, na of, of, of of natural things because you already born natural in a natural world you need to know more about the spirit side spiritual side because the spiritual side is life and peace and joy in the holy ghost god bless you jamaicans all over the world hallelujah it's great to be a jamaican we are strong we are courageous we are brave hallelujah no covid 19 will ever take us down we will pass over our jordan and reap the grape the apple the mangoes the starple hallelujah and all good things will we have to eat because God had blessed us. Our four parents work hard and long in this country, coming from a poor beginning, poor background, where one finger banana and a orange was sell to school their children in Jamaica. And now I have seen, my eyes have seen, my ears have heard that we want to destroy each other. Rise from the gutter. Stand up. 
Hallelujah. For righteousness exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to any people. God bless you. Love you. Hallelujah. Bye, Jamaica. Love you. Praise God. It's great to be a Jamaican. Hallelujah. Jamaican all over the world. Today is Labor Day in Jamaica. Love you. Be strong and be courageous. Be brave and be bold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.